Hi everyone, today I am explaining a topic about one-to-one -one relationship. What is in Salesforce? Hello? Yes, madam, we can hear you. Very good. Sir, screen, I move what like, sir. And the name of the just you can click on mouse or like a, in the keyboard, you can click next. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm clicking, but it's not moving, sir. Do one thing, madam. Minimize screen action. Mainly, mainly okay. Salesforce provide two. One two... One minute, madam. So, first of all, anyone knows Salesforce relationships? How many relationships are there? Anyone tell me how many relationships? Three, sir. <clears throat> what what are the uh, Like a lookup, self lookup, master, many to many, and hierarchical, right? Hierarchical. Is there anything called one to one? If you take self relationship also, it is one to many, correct? Like IBM is a main branch. Under that, what you can add IBM Hyderabad, IBM Bangalore, IBM, something like that. You can add multiple child records. Look up also, what sir? One to many. One parent can have multiple childs. Must also, one parent can have multiple childs. Many to many is, that is many to many. By, by seeing name, people can understand. Hierarchical is nothing but again like a one to, but there is no one to one relationship. And the example, Ella, and she will uh, give explanation now. Okay, madam, just you can go on. If we want to establish one to one relationship between two objects, means we don't have a direct methodology in Salesforce. For that, we must implement uh, some methods. First, by using a lookup field. Next step, by using a roll-up summary and by using a trigger. What is may what is one-to-one -one relationship in Salesforce means relationship between two entities. Here, I am taking element A and B. Element A must only link it with element B and vice versa. For example, a country has only one capital city. And the capital is the only one of a country. This is an example. Let's take one scenario to establish a one-to-one -one relationship between two custom objects. I'm taking employee and pawn card. To, to establish one-to-one -one relationship, these are the steps to follow the above the scenario. First, we must create the lookup field between pawn card to employee. Next step, after creating the lookup field, we must take a pan card custom field as a unique and that must be hold id of employee second step and third step if you want to change pan card i mean if you want to update the pan card which is having a lookup field we must create a flow between uh, we must create a flow on pan card i will show in my arc See here I have created a two pan card. Here I have created a two pan card members, Navya and Sai, and also similarly two employees. If I for Navya, I have given a pan card name of Navya only. And for uh, Sri, I am giving Navya means it will show an error. Why? Because it's already exists for Navya. See. Here, yeah, the field must be unique and it will not be saved for this employee name as Sri. Have you all understood? But you should give meaningful name, madam. Pan card means it should be have some that type of format like you can give. That will be easy okay. to understand. You cannot give name, right? Pan card, you can give some name, like a unique, like AG something, OPV, okay. same type of format. Okay. okay. That will be good actually when you are explaining. Okay. So this is another. Uh, occurred when we will give same pan card to different person and uh, here we will use by using a trigger also yeah so have seen this approach will be work for both standard and the custom objects here i have said no we have to establish one-to-one -one relationship between pan card to employee 
and uh, if you give the second pan card to the employee and the you and the pan card must be a unique you just open that field madam pan card to employee look up field is there na no? open that look up field not here in the background so you need to show like where you made any queue in field and re- look up field right yeah okay just open that field and show it so if, if you make it here so it will allow only one employee one pan card I have created a pan card lookup field. Where you are making any key, Mena? This is lookup field. Pan card. Employee. So I think second field, na, madam. Yes, sir. Unique case is sensitive. Which field you are using now? Pan card number or employee? Pan card number, sir. So both are text fields only. Ah, sir. Um, For only text fields, we can use only unique, sir. Yeah. Only really. Have you heard fear? Which also. uh which i have showed earlier in the, we, we will use only by using arc if you want to write a code means we will use a trigger we all know the earlier classes what is trigger trigger means is an apex code uh, which we will insert uh, update delete and undelete uh, these are the two types of triggers before trigger and after trigger before trigger we will use to update or validate the value and after trigger we will use uh, to access the value continued within the record and to make the changes in your salesforce da- database and this is a code for uh, pan card to employee i will execute uh, See, I have uh, written a code between pan card to employee. Here we will take a triggered pan card validation on pan card first before insert. After, if you we will use the events here before insert and before update. And here we will using a set of if we want the employee IDs, and we will map. Uh, here using I am using for loop pan card underscore underscore cp for new trigger employee IDs dot p. employee id underscore c here we will get the employee ids which are related to the pan card here we are taking the list of employees here i am writing the query select the id name from employee where id in employee ids means here for loop be behind uh, beside the we have after the for loop i am writing the if condition if list of employee is empty Then again, I am writing for loop employee underscore underscore c e m p list employee, and after getting this map of employee put, we must take the employee ID here. After that, we must ex all we here we will show the pan card is already exist for that person. After this for loop. Which I have shown in this arc. Have you all understood about this code? Okay. So this error okay. will come whenever you are inserting pan card record. Okay. So but pan card is having employee ID, employee ID. Okay. So what they are doing is they are checking in the line number eleven. Eleven. Right. Uh, oh, so they are sorry in the line number. Once 17. that employee's ID is there, they are getting all the employees with that ID. So once you are getting employee IDs, so you are just not empty. Then 
adding that employee like a id and employee record again employee record okay so then what you can do is in the line number 15 whenever you are inserting to get that new it will checking if that that new whatever the record pan card record you are inserting if that pan card record is already having that id in the existing map throw the error message so this is same like a before inside before update this is a one more update. we can show the we can create a one to one relationship in you know, sales force using trigger so whenever you are inserting pan card you are checking all those things this is second way and one more thing this is recently asked in the interview see one employee can one part one part can be less than the only one employee similarly one, uh, another example is there na no? one passport for one customer one yeah employee. sir okay. uh, that uh, that is by using a master detail relationship ha uh, you can show that one also man so there are so there are so many ways we can uh, achieve uh, like a one to one relationship in salesforce but that is not possible like a normal uh, functional relationship ha uh, so we have to use uh, some configuration changes or some customization we have to do to achieve that one to one relationship in salesforce next example i am taking by using a roll up summary here taking here i am taking another uh, example like the uh, relationship between passport and the person here also the same one person should have an one passport if you have a many passports means it will show an error here we are creating a validation rule on person that will check a roll up summary field is greater than or greater than 1 okay. this person is having a passport number number of persons are one this person is having a passport if i enter this passport person the passport name of this person to the another person it will show an error see i am entering the passport name is another one no what you have to do is you, you can go to the person there you can try to add a one more child record related list so that way you can understand easily in the related list madam open person record first related list related list the after detail before related above left side madam ah uh, so now already that person have one passport now right just create one more passport now here only so what will happen it will throw the error message now if you try to get new passport why because already that person is having a one passport click a save see a passport, passport yeah. already exists for this person why it is showing error message is the relationship between passport and the person is master detail okay so person is a master detail in case of master detail what you can do sir can we create roll up summaries yes or no yes yes sir yes sir so in that case uh, like what she created is in the person object she created one roll up field called count like how many persons are there like a count okay so that field we are using in the validation rule if that count okay passport count is more than one show the error message see if you want to you can show the validation also in the person object there is a validation called roll up summary count is more than one show this error message validation rule here only man there only <laughs> go down go down complete down స్క్రాల్ చేయండి కిందకి ఏం రావట్లే కనిపిస్తుంది ఎక్కడనే వాడేషన్ తెలుసు స్క్రాల్ అవ్వట్లేదు కిందకి ఓకే ఎండు అంతి స్విచ్ టు క్లాసిక్ అని షో ఇట్ క్లాసిక్ లేజీ కనిపిస్తుంది switch to classic <laughs> so this is your first presentation ma madam or a previous class presentation no sir this is first uh, still you are confusing anamata ekkada demo ivali okay you should understand where you have to explain clearly if you go directly okay. if you modify there it is so the demo ivadam kuda correct ga ivali just click on person object 
parle this is first and this good but next time you can explain more clearly with okay. where you have to create child record how you reach your message in the right side you can go post.com right side man there menu menu it is there uh, object hmm so down validation rules you can see here there is a validation called to count persons below validation rules man yes mm. open it so here you can see she is using role of summary field what is the role of summary field yeah, number of persons told on persons number of persons are greater than one which is show an error error message is person having more than one passport and the and the field must be shown in a person name error is following sir what is this how we can achieve like one to one relationship in case of master detail and one person can have only one passport one passport understand or not everyone <laughs> hello anupam yes sir understand okay. so this is the uh, in the yeah. passport detail so yeah. this is an yeah. interview yeah. question madam this question is asked recently in interview that's why i sent talk to yeah madam go and uh, this is a this is a trigger code no yeah, in case it... also we will use a trigger if you if you want to write an apex code see here this is a trigger code here also the same uh, events we will use before insert and before update same as like a pan card validation uh here also uh, here we will take the set of ids of person and map for passport underscore underscore ca in here we will use a trigger new person pa person id dot add person e person underscore underscore ca here we will take the list of the persons and in we, here we will write a query on person id name person where id belongs to this person ids <coughs> if list of person is empty person underscore underscore c employee list of person and here take we will take a map and put employee id here we will show an error that is a passport is already exist for this person hmm this is same like a previous hmm. that is in the lookup relationship how we can achieve one to one This is a between master detail how master you can achieve one to one relationship. Okay, ma'am. So she will share links also. So if you want to practice, you can practice here. Okay, ma'am. You can share that uh, PPT also in group, ma'am, and the links where you are referring all these links, right? Yes, sir. Code and all. Just share that code also. Please practice it, sir. This is a recently asked interview question. Okay. Which is uh, very important. how to achieve one to one relationship in sales force i have seen this question in two three interviews okay sure ma'am right thanks ma'am that's all right or any other thing yeah no sir thank you yeah thank you ma'am thank you for the presentation next time you should prepare more ma'am okay yes sir